At the entrance to the city gate of Samaria are four men with leprosy, a terrible disease. They say, why are we waiting here? We will just die, there's no food in the city. Let's go over to the camp of the enemy and surrender. If they spare us, we live. If they kill us, then we die. At the end of the afternoon, when it's almost dark, they get up and go to the camp of the enemies. When they reach the edge of the camp, they see no one is there. Do you know what has happened? The Lord has made the enemy forces to hear a sound of a mighty army approaching. They were so scared. They have left everything and fled for their lives. God is almighty. He can rescue you from any enemy without you doing anything. Our biggest enemy is sin. But Jesus can deliver you. Ask him to do so. The four men with leprosy enter one of the tents. Oh, there is food enough. They eat and drink. Then they take silver, gold and clothes. Then they go off to hide everything. They return and enter another tent. They take some things from it and hide them also. Then they say to each other, what we are doing is not right. This is a day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves. Let us not wait till daybreak, then we will be guilty. Let us report this to the royal palace. So they shout out to a city gatekeeper and report everything they know. This city gatekeeper reports it to other city gatekeepers. They tell the good news to the king. The king gets up, but is very suspicious of the news. He says, do you know what I think? They are just hiding somewhere and waiting for us to come out of the city. And once we go out, they will attack us. One of the king's officers suggests let us take our five remaining horses and go and see what is going on. Two chariots set off immediately from Samaria and travel all the way to the river Jordan. What do they see on the road? Clothes everywhere and equipment as well. They can just see that their enemies have run away in great haste. They return to the king and report everything. Then all the people of the city go into the camp. They rush to grab the food the fleeing army has left behind. Just as Elisha has prophesied. There is so much food and indeed it is sold at low prices. God blesses his people richly. Yes, he can provide in every need. Now the king has put the officer who has mocked Elisha in charge of the city gate. In the mad rush to get out of the city, he is trampled to death. So just as Elisha has said, the officer saw the food but did not taste any of it. God always fulfills his words.